In this first clip, a lady was at a store recording and creating content. But all of a sudden, this Karen got triggered because she felt she was being recorded. Take a listen to what she said. Hey, do you think I care if you're I don't care. I'm do recording you think too. I care? Do you think I care, sweetheart, that you're recording me? This is a quid. You ready to check out? Yes, I am. I'm Keep recording, sweetheart. I will. Keep it's recording. right here. I will. It's right Keep here. Recording. I will. It's right here. I will. It's right here. Yep. Yep. I will. Classy. Classy. I will. Classy. Yep. Got taught well. I did. Because you already don't got no manners. You all taught well. Okay. Keep talking, please. I will. I'm doing Keep it right talking. now. I will. Okay. I okay. will. Stop the point. You're making yourself a point. I don't care. Look at me one more. You got First of all, it's obvious that this Karen is new in town because there is no expectation of privacy in public. Secondly, why do some people act like this in public? Let me know what you think in the comments. Up next, a customer at Culver's complained to one of the employees that the meat that was used for his order is bad. And he wants a refund. Take a listen to their conversation. I'm not being rude. Oh, you yelled at funny. me. You yelled at me. Really, man? You're yelling that you yelled at me. You yelled at me. But it's obvious that you're the one yelling. We got you can serve me spoiled meat and all that. You got spoiled meat. That's it. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? So y'all service for me. Yeah? This is what you do to customers. Instead of doing your job. You treat people that are actually working No, actually not. Actually not. That's how you're treating us. They were no, they were they weren't yelling. She, she wasn't this she's, she's more of a manager than you are. She kept, here you, you, you know what she told me? People. You know what she told me? She said keep the receipt. Because you never know, check your bag, it might be something missing. Yeah. I was gonna throw the receipt away, but she did she she yeah. did way better than what you were supposed to be doing. Period. You, you, you start yelling, yelling at me. Not at all. You were yelling at them. Not at all. Not at all. Because now you black and I'm white and I'm yelling at you. You don't want to You just said black and white, so now you being racist. No. No. So you now you're being racist. racist. That's why you're yelling at me. No. You're telling me that I'm If, if he's allergic to seafood, seafood, why is he even working this position? Why are you working? I'm still working. Why are you in the business? Huh? Why are you in the business? What you, cause you said that. Okay, he's allergic to seafood. Okay, so he yelled at me. I'm allergic oh. to seafood, so I'm oh, not gonna check. Longer. Look how you talking. Okay, well, look how you talking. Yeah. I remember when you was a shorty, man. No. Huh? No. Huh? So now look at you. Look at you. Huh? Look at you. What's going on? What's going on? What's your store number? Look at you as a What's your store number? Okay, I know it's Tammy. And he took his name tag off. So he doing dirt. He being dirty. He ain't got no name tag. It's all good. Dude, just leave. You're doing too much. Way too much. A customer at Joanne's tried to return an item that she purchased two hours prior, even though she stated that she slightly used it. Guess what? The manager refused to honor the return. Take a look at this. So what are you telling me? That I can't return it? I just want proof. I, I can't return it because I slightly used it. I was here two hours ago. And your name is what? Aileen? And you told me that it was a piece of fruit. If it was a piece of fruit, I can't return it. But this isn't fruit. Where is your return policy? Where does it say that if you've used it, you can't return it? I'm asking you a question. I'm a manager at my job. I don't treat people like this. I'm asking you a question. Where does your return policy say that if you use it, you can't return it? The manager completely ignored that customer. But that's kind of unprofessional of her. It's, this is public. I'm asking you a question. Now you don't want to talk. You just gave me a major attitude. I, 
laughing. It's funny. I'm a manager at my job. I don't treat customers like this. I have people that come back in with food that they've eat, t- tried it and didn't like it, and we give them their money back. I specifically asked you if this was the correct stuff. She's going to ignore you. Wow. She shouldn't be a manager. That's all. Well, maybe I'll apply and take your job. What? Maybe you should apply and take her job? No, you shouldn't have said that. That's your store manager? She keeps That's your store manager? She's not the store manager? She's a, she's a manager on duty. She's a key holder, but she's not the manager of the store. Oh, okay, because she's telling me I came down, I asked you earlier if this was the correct stuff. So you're not the store manager. You lied to me. I am an assistant manager. You're an assistant, but you're not the you're store not manager. Right now, is this the I store am, manager? She is the manager that's here on duty Correct. right now. Right. So, but she's telling me because I was just here. I mean, the time's on the sleep right. so shows. I was just here. I went home. I asked her if this was correct stuff. She said it dries tacky. I used it. It ruined my canvas. It's not tacky at all. So I bring it back and she said because I used a tiny little sliver of it, I'm not allowed to return it. And exchange it for something else. I cannot return it. Never heard of that. I can bring this to Walmart. If I bought this at Walmart, I can return it. That makes no sense. And she's got a horrible, horrible attitude. Is that is that the store policy? Because it says right here, returns are easy. If you have a full receipt, you're allowed to return it for the original payment method. I don't even want to return it. I want to exchange it. Is the store manager here? Oh, I want to talk to her then. You need to be fired. You've got a horrible, horrible attitude. And the last time I was here, you had a horrible attitude. I don't see why it's funny. If I acted that way as a manager of my job, I'd be fired. Wow. You guys at least are respectful. Oh my God. You just said if I want your job, I can have it? Yes, I am. Because I want proof of how I want. A few moments later. So we turn this stuff first, and then we'll leave. Call oh, then. What are they going to do? Save the I've, got, I've, got it, I've got it all on recording. Wow. What is your name? There's a sign. My name's Karen. All right. You don't okay. even, you don't even know what happened. You didn't even ask me. You didn't hear, you didn't hear the initial conversation. She has an attitude problem. It's wow. No, yeah, no, it isn't. You wait and see. It will not be over. Wow. Just go. Just go. Watch. This will all be aired. The whole conversation. Wow. What is your name again? Karen? Karen. Oh, it fits perfectly. Out of my store. Wow. According to the customer, she was assaulted by this manager named Karen outside of the store. However, the most current update on this case is that the customer reached out to corporate. She spoke with the district manager who apologized on behalf of the employees and he promised to try to fix whatever the issue was. The case is pending at this time. In this next clip, you're going to be watching a guy who has been dating this girl for only three months, but expects her to take up the role of the mother of his four kids. And guess what? She has a son of her own. Watch this. On my bio, it literally said I have kids. I have a son. That don't mean I want you to be his daddy. You don't think he gonna look at me as a father figure? My son will be 18 next year. And still. How do you like the sushi? Is it good? Sushi. Fred? Don't they have a mom? Yes, but she's not gonna be around as much as you. They live with me. They all four? 
Yes. Oh, you should have told me that at the door. All four is crazy. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I only have one child. Are you? That's not. It's not the same. It don't hit the same. So basically, you saying you don't want to? No, I do. I no, like you. you. Don't. I do, and I'm cool with your kids. I just don't plan on playing house. I don't you want. You ain't cool with them. Clearly, clearly, you ain't. Good together, like work without the kids. I'm just saying, like, no offense, but look at us. We actually do good. I do like you. I think we make a good couple. I just don't think I'm just not with the Brady one. It's not no couple without my children. I'm not saying I, I'm not accepting your kids. I'm saying I'm not playing house. I'm so not. that's exactly what you're saying. You're not accepting my kids. Will we get married or something? Maybe. Now, this is crazy. This couple have just been dating for three months. They're not married, but he expects her to take up the role of the mother of his four kids. Wow. When I get the ring, it's when I can play mom, when I can play mother. I'm not doing, girl, why do you, I'm not doing the wife do. What make you think you're going to get a ring and I think you don't even have any mother, I haven't seen any motherly problems. That's the problem we're meant to date, though. Y'all want us to do all these wife duties without making us wife. Like, I'm not doing that. Why should I have to take on four more heads to be, like, four more responsibilities? You don't even buy the food. I buy the food. Okay, but you want me to cook it, though. Why would I eat your mind when you're in the kitchen? You put that bonnet on, you do. Why is you record? I was trying to catch how cute we look. You just started tripping. We don't look cute without my kids. But well, why they not here? They in school. <laughs> you think shit's so funny. Nothing's funny. It's you basically saying it's over. You trying to force me to... You're work. basically saying that it's over. Really? Yeah, I'm not... So you just Ain't no throw, me without my kids. Throw three months away. Ain't no me without my kids. You're gonna throw three months away. Like you forcing it though. You trying to force something. Like let it happen now. Like let it happen naturally. If I be around your kids and vibe with them and I just decide like, okay, I like this one. I may like the young Ain't one. Ain't no me more without my open. kids. You talking in the camera? You talking? Cause you, you got the camera set up. Both of y'all, my. Do they act like you? I just be by myself. Two of them to play. It would just be me and my kids it's like it problem. was before you got here. It's your problem because you're trying to force all the damn kids on me. I'm, I'm not forcing nothing. This is forcing. You're trying to make me have a three months okay. be a stepmom all right. without a ring. So you don't have to do anything. So why are you giving me the responsibility of four additional kids? Like, I think that's selfish. Mm. I just think that's really selfish. You enjoying your last drink with me? Because you ain't you my kids. Last. That's what they all say. Well, I actually huh. have never dated a man with as many kids with four. I don't even why you bringing that up, because you knew it. Because I thought they were with their mothers. You Where are their moms? Why does that matter? I mean, it's just poor judgment. Character. Well, you're Like, he's a real guy. That's why I don't need you to play a father figure. That's my point. I ain't never seen him. You don't need to see him. We've been dating for it's, three it's months. I ain't separate. never seen that nigga. Exactly. If we get married, you will definitely see him. You'll meet him. Okay. That's what you say. I mean, if a father figure was needed, I would be asking you to do that the way you're asking me to nothing. be a mother to your kids. I'm not forcing anything. It's not that serious, though. Look at this. Man. This is our last drink together. You really mad. One eternity later. What, what what the hell are you asking me to do? I'm asking you to be a positive female role model to my What children. does that mean? What does that look like? How, what, the f is that, what does that mean? A positive female role model to four boys. Why is that even necessary? As like for an emotional standpoint. Because their mother is. Uh, is, she, is she a bum? I'm not there to say that. I may have more sympathy, but honestly, that's what therapy is for. That's what school is for. That's what counseling is for. You f up. I'm f it make sense. It just don't make sense to me. I'm sorry. It just don't make sense to me. Like, you don't have no I'm not that desperate for a relationship. Of, you don't have no sense of uh, wherewithal as a woman to, like, just be what the hell does this good have to, to do kids. With me? Like, be this ain't no mentorship. What? 
Is this charity? Is this the Salvation Army? Let me know. You should put that in your bio. Four boys that need a mother. Need drink. What are you doing? Like, oh my goodness. I hope this is not real. Because if this is real, this guy is bugging for real. But let me know who do you think is in the wrong. Up next, you're going to be watching a crazy Karen customer acting out at a nail salon. Take a look at this. Don't What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? I am. I am. To ugly apes. Looking like the monkey on Planet of the Apes. You look just like her. Oh, my so God. So I'm finished your you. half. Wait, wait. You, if you don't want to finish it, you have to pay me a half price. I ain't paying you shit. See, that's why You can call whoever you want. I don't care. I didn't do that. Hey, well shut your mom. This customer's behavior is completely out of line. I still do not understand why some people behave like this in public. Unbelievable. In this upcoming clip, a wife confronts a husband, who is this guy in this picture, about an earring she found under their matrimonial bed. You will not believe his response. Take a look at this. I have a question for you. <laughs> Can you all see the expression on his face? Ay, yikes. Who'd you have in the bedroom? Who'd you have in the bedroom? What? Who did you have in the bedroom? What do you mean who I had in the bedroom? I cleaned up the bedroom last night. Who did you have in the bedroom? I had somebody in the bedroom. Who did you have in the bedroom? Who you had in the bedroom? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. You don't know what I'm talking about, but you're smiling. I have no idea what you're talking about. And I went to that spiritualist lady and she told me, she said, clean underneath your bed. Uh-oh, she went to a spiritualist lady who told her to clean under her bed? Okay, now. Uh-huh. And when I cleaned underneath my bed, I found it. What did you find? Who'd you have in the bedroom? What did you find? Who did you have in the bedroom? I'll tell you who I had in the bedroom when you tell me what you found. For real? Who did you have in the bedroom? I'll tell you when you tell me what you found. I found a gold ring that doesn't belong to me. A gold ring? Yep. Which ring? Who did you have in the bedroom? I don't know what you're talking about. I plead the fifth. You, oh, so you're going to sit there and smile and plead the fifth? Now, I plead, that's the best thing to do is plead the fifth because I have no idea what you're I talking can about. tell she's some type of little cheap hussy, whoever she was, because this earring here that I found, you guys see this? This earring here that I found, this cheap right here, I found it underneath the bed on your side of the bed. And I don't wear no flower earrings. That's so cool. whose earring is it? You don't know who you is. You, you Listen, don't play me like I'm no fool. Because I don't wear earrings like this. I wear hoops. So whose earring is this? Man, I don't know who earring it was. What you want to do about it? What? Is this guy for real? I bet you don't want to do nothing about it. So you want to take my seriousness as a joke right now? Whose earring is it? I have the slightest idea. How'd he get under the bed? I don't know. So you gonna sit there and you gonna smile and think that shit is funny right now? You put it under the bed. Why would I put something you like this to, under the bed? You trying to blackmail me. Are you serious? You trying to make it seem like that it was another girl to get mad at me, but you the one that put it under the bed. Are you really serious right now? Now, who you had in the bed? Are you really serious right now? Who you had in the bed? I didn't have nobody in the bed. 
You had to have somebody to be. This they is a woman's earrings. earring. That's a man's earring. This is. Oh my goodness. The gaslighting is unreal. And the fact that he tried to flip the script on her is ridiculous. Are you serious, Kayla? Does this look like a man's earring? That's a man's earring. What man? You went you... to the swap shop and had it modified. Do you hear yourself right now? Do you hear yourself? <laughs> okay. I'm going to ask you one more time. You took that, you went to the swap shop. Had it modified to look like a female's earring when it was a this man. This is a flower it was with a, a, with a cheap a stone in the middle. It wasn't a flower. So it was what was it? What? Did he just say it wasn't a flower but a circle? Whoa, that means he's guilty has charged. You had it modified. The jeweler modified it for you so it looks like a female so you can say that I had somebody in the bed. Are you serious? That's, that's the story you're going to stick with right now? That's what you did. This is a flower. You don't think that you went... You went Can you guys see this? You it, went it, it, it won't even show up. And had it modified. He's saying that this ugly flower that you can barely even see. I'm sorry, guys. That I had this modified. I, I know, I, I, and I know what shop you went to, too. Is there something wrong with you? Look, tomorrow we're going to go over to the shop. Watch. I'm going to take you to the shop tomorrow. And he's going to be like, yeah, she came here yesterday and had it modified to look like a female earring. Are you serious right now? Yes. Do you hear the story that you're coming up with? I'm telling you. That's what happened. Okay. Put your shoes on. I'm taking you to the hospital. All you right. need to go get checked. I ain't going nowhere. <laughs> I told you what happened. You modified it. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm done. I'm completely done. I'm leaving now. Goodbye. Oh my goodness, this is crazy. And I think that this is not his first time doing this. By me looking at his eyes only, you can tell that this guy is lying. And the fact that he kept repeating her questions, that shows guilt. But what do you think? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Finally, for this episode, a so-called influencer refused to pay his bills. You will not believe his excuse for doing that. Take a listen. Story, I did a story, okay? I'm an influencer, bro. Okay, I posted you on my thing, and now you're bringing me a check? Oh, what is this? I gave you a story. Do you realize who I am? I'm here to tell you right now. We don't care. Let me tell you. Right, let me tell you. <laughs> we don't care. You, know you, you should know who I am. I just, put, I just did a story of your place, and you're giving me a check. I don't know what the disrespect, the disrespect. Go get the owner. Go get the owner. Go get the owner. I did a story for your place. I take a story, you bring me the check. Pretend. Go get the owner. I you guys. I you the best story ever, and this guy brings me the bean. Huh? I told the story for you. You should care. You know how many followers I have? Oh, you know how many people are gonna see all this place? I'm, I'm making you famous. I'm making you famous. Okay? And you bring me the bean like that. You know what? You can leave and never come back. Wow. Can you all believe this? No one even asked him to do the promotion of that restaurant. He did that on his own. Man, cut the crap and go pay your bills.